Well, greetings again. This is Dr. Bill White with the American Orthodontic Society, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about bonded blocks. These are neat things. If you learn how to use them in orthodontics, they help you in many, many, many ways other than jumping cross bites and stuff of that nature. And we'll try to have videos where we have some on different things we use bonded blocks for. So uh, I'm going to go ahead with this young lady here that uh, she's of Chinese uh, descent and uh, she's got a fused lateral teeth on the bottom and they're just missing. And then she's got a pretty bad crossbite right up on the top and I'll have to kind of draw that in to show you uh, where it is. Let me find my little deal. But anyway, there's a crossbite right in here. And uh, what we're going to have to do, she's missing two teeth out of the bottom, and we'll take, take some upper teeth, upper bicuspids out, to balance the structure out, and then we try to save the wisdom teeth, and I think we actually did. So let's go through this quick, and I'll try to uh, not waste your time here, but these these two laterals are gone. They're just missing. And the cuspids are kind of large and everything. We might have to reduce them down. So we're going to balance this out by taking out the first bicuspids on the upper arch. And then we've got to jump this cross bite back here. So we put a block underneath the right side of the mouth. Let me get over here. The, this side is in pretty good class one relation. And so we'll have to pull that together and keep that class one relationship over here on the right side of the mouth. And on the left side, we've got a, it's pretty much class one back here as far as the molar is concerned, but we're gonna take that out. And then we'll put this lateral in this gap right here. And we may have to reduce these uh, fused teeth the, these teeth are missing, but they're awful big cuspids here, so we may have to shape that up a little bit to balance this out. So let me get on with this pretty pretty fast. Now we're going to take out these two uh, upper bicuspids, and then we're going to bring this back some in here and line these upper teeth up, and we'll move up and fill in the back part of this and then give us a little bit more room back here at the bottom for the wisdom teeth. So let's see, here's how we're just going to bond a block on these teeth. And we've shown you in videos how to bond them on. We don't stick them on there real firm, but I've never lost one, and we can take them off pretty easy. So let's get on with it. And we use these intruding arch wire, you see this arch wire is bringing these teeth down some. Uh, and this arch wire is probably up here, we just depending on the single arch, and I use little single brackets with wings on them. In most of the cases, we've shown you the uh, appliances that we use, and we'll go in with this, so we're going to go through this pretty quick. And we we jump the bite, see, with this block right here and then we bring this tooth through this gap and while we were opening this up these teeth on the right side of the mouth close together now they do not move out of the bone the bone structure moves together with these teeth and this side over here these go uh, we put this in there they are intruded to some extent, but the bone goes up with them. And when you take this out, it levels right back up again. Back here in the vertical height of this third of the face comes back to more or less a normal position. Probably be a little bit down since we've taken some teeth out here and reduced it. Now that this is lined up pretty good. And we've got this bonded block and we show you how to take them out. You cut a groove in this and just piece, piece the sides together. And this is just 
a lab acrylic that you bond on there so it doesn't stick all that good but I've never had one come off while we were working you have to grind them down like that and now we come back and line the teeth up and you can see we've got the midline uh, that I don't worry about that but get them down in a class one relation going back to the back like that now here we are just about to finish this up we're closing this space and we've taken the impacted or the tooth that was uh, in the crossbite. Now these are unusually large lateral teeth. And so sometimes we would come in and strip the big tooth a little bit if the sizing didn't work out. So we probably did some reduction of those teeth and we lined the rest of the teeth up in this manner here and put a rectangular arch. These are 018 slots and we line this all up and we're just about to finish the case out. We need a little gap over here and we don't have to band the upper second molars but we always band the lower second and then I think we're going to save room enough for the wisdom teeth. So here it is when we started and there it is after we pretty well finished. And there the crossbite is looking from the inside of the mouth and here is the right side of the mouth when we started. It's in a good class one relation and it's the same class one when we finished. We closed that space. Now I never put any clasp across these. They fix these retainers. They fix it and they suction up there and if you would have to put something on them in we put a little bit of good composite underneath the wire and you can put it in here now we take this cuspid and put it down in there and there the cuspid is in that place and we brought this lateral back and that was the lateral that was over on this side right there so it's in place now and we're just about to finish the case up and we've got a upper retainer in place. Now, oriental people, a lot of them have a high margin and a little area of cingulum back here and we'll reduce that or down so that they, one, the lower tooth won't hit right here and just not hit it over here. We'll smooth those down and kind of make a little bite plate out of those uh, cingulums that come in on the back side. Now down on the bottom, we probably reduced this tooth just slightly, uh, not much, uh, and got it to fix. I don't uh, know that we even took them down hardly any. And then we left this on wheel bond at three to three, going from bicuspid normally to do that. And this is 1989 now, and this girl's 20 and three months old at this, this time. And there we come in here, and this is in eight, 89. Here we take these bicuspids out, and we're going to move this over, we open the bite, and we pull this back and we're going to see if we can save the wisdom teeth. She's aged 20 and 3 at this point. And now we are still not room enough for the, the wisdom teeth. And we'll close the spaces up above. And here we are in 92. And these wisdom teeth have plenty of room. And we bring them on in right here. The upper will drop in without any problem, and we've got a look like a bonded three to three on showing up on this X-ray. And here is the young lady, and uh, this I don't have a finished smiling picture, but I appreciate you watching this, and uh, this is just an example of using 
these bonded blocks. And when we put the blocks on one side, these teeth opened up for the blocks, and the other side closed down. When we took the block out, they leveled back out again. So don't worry about that. Try to do it. Just let it come together and the occlusion bring them back again. And now we'll say goodbye. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you get something from this. And uh, we appreciate everyone. And this goes out to anywhere in the world. You can pick up what we do with orthodontics. So thanks for watching, and I'm going to say goodbye, and we'll leave it. Thank you now.